Decision tree analysis is a value management planning process that allows you to identify and examine uncertain situations in a visual way and choose the best options going forward. At the center of this process is, of course, the decision tree. A decision tree is a flowchart-like diagram that shows the various outcomes from a series of decisions. A primary advantage of using a decision tree is that it is easy to follow and understand. Decision trees have three main parts, a root node, leaf nodes, and branches. The root node is the starting point of the tree, and both root and leaf nodes contain questions or criteria to be answered. Branches are arrows connecting nodes, showing the flow from question to answer. Each node typically has two or more nodes extending from it. A decision tree can be used in either a predictive manner or a descriptive manner. In either instance, they are constructed the same way and are always used to visualize all possible outcomes and decision points that occur chronologically. Decision trees are most commonly used in the financial world for areas such as loan approval, portfolio management, and spending. It can also be helpful when examining the viability of a new product or defining a new market for an existing product. Decision tree analysis can also be a powerful tool for managing projects. Project managers need to be able to identify all possible scenarios in the project lifecycle. Each decision point could lead to success or failure. Evaluating all foreseeable outcomes and weighing their risks and benefits is a crucial step in the planning process. Every project is different and requires a customized analysis. Here are some best practices when creating a decision tree diagram. Start with a rectangle near the left edge of the page to represent the first node. In this rectangle, write the first question, main idea, or criterion that will lead to a decision. For every possible alternative, draw a separate line that begins at the node and moves away towards the right of the page. Using a loan approval process as an example, the first node may have been income, and the associated branches might be less than $50,000, $51 to $100,000, or greater than $101,000. At the end of each branch, add a leaf node. Fill each of these leaf nodes with another question or criterion. Repeat the process of adding a branch for each possible alternative leading from a leaf. Label each branch just as before. Continue adding leaves and branches until every question or criterion has been resolved and an outcome has been reached. Finally, consult with all stakeholders to verify the accuracy of the content of your decision tree. When completed thoroughly, decision tree analysis will help you evaluate all likely outcomes and make the most informed decision possible to ensure success.